I am currently in an undisclosed location in the mountains in Bali, I can tell you that much. Where there's only men, there's no women allowed, there's only carnivore diet. Basically you train and do biohacking all day, there's a cold plunge, there's a sauna behind me, and then you basically just get on your work and then just bond with other brothers. And I just want to give you guys a little bit of an insight into what, uh, first of all, an experience is like this, but also give you some of the nuggets and takeaways that I've given you that I've also learned around business and life. And so I just bumped into Hamza, who I'm here with before. We're actually sitting at this fire pit here. And these are a lot of high level entrepreneurs. There's a lot of multi millionaires here. I'm here with Hamza and a bunch of other guys who are just all different kind of levels of life from all around the world, Canada, the US, Dubai, Europe, etc. And the conversation got on to internal growth, spiritual growth. It was interesting how it developed because a lot of these guys had made a lot of money, but they were still living in deep, just either like depression or anxiety, or maybe some of them had just got divorces. And you know, we're, everyone was just openly and vulnerably sharing their stories. And we got onto the topic of, funnily enough, breath work and uh, how that's helped a couple of the guys who had done it. And most of the guys here were new to that, but they're open to it because we're here in, in the middle of this retreat. And so I actually guided the guys through this breath work practice this morning. And there's a, these are like very masculine men. Like, I'll be honest, I'm a little intimidated by some of them. Some of them are absolute machines. But these guys I took through this practice this morning, it was beautiful. These men opened up and some of them were streaming tears. Some of them were in tears of unhappiness. Some of them were tears of happiness. And it was just like this reminder that truly something about being a successful entrepreneur, being a successful man is realizing that vulnerability actually equals strength. And something special happens when you surround yourself with other brothers who are on the same journey and that was just something beautiful that we got to experience this morning then as soon as we did the breath work uh, Hamza and I that was one of the uh, actually reminds me of also one of the takeaways I took from our workout today which is to the way Hamza frame, phrased it I might phrase it a little bit differently but the way he said it was to balance arrogance with humility I think what he meant by that is like essentially waking up thinking having a lot of belief in yourself thinking you're the shit but also having the humility to ask for help, having the humility to admit that you don't know everything, right? And that you have a beginner, beginner's mind. Like when I'm sitting with Hamza, we're talking about YouTube. Do you think I'm telling him what to do with YouTube? Or do you think I'm just listening, right? I'd be an idiot to try and tell him what to do. I'm really listening intently because he is light years ahead of me, right? And vice versa, some of the other guys here wanted some coaching on me in different areas of their life and business. Even though they're older than me, they're listening to me because I have other things to share, right? So for yourself, think about where you're at right now on this scale of like arrogance and humility. I could call, I'd rather just call it confidence personally, because you want to, if you're too humble and you have too much humility, then you just get walked over. You don't come across as like confident and that you know what you're talking about and people won't take you seriously. And as a man, you will get walked over a little bit, right? But then at the same time, if you're way too arrogant and brash and cocky, it's like, yeah, you might feel like the man, but guess what? People are just, you know, then they're, they're going to talk behind your back. They're not really going to respect you. They're going to think you have small dick syndrome. And that's too far on, on one end. So for me, I have more of a calm confidence. I'm not necessarily the type of guy who needs to like show how big I am or show how strong I am or any of that stuff. It's not me, but I am competent in a lot of areas. And when I'm talking about those areas or helping in someone in those areas, I'll be very confident and, and certain about what I'm saying. So that's something I want you to think about where you are on that scale because you want to have a nice balance of both. I actually had this cool video idea, quick story. Alex Ormosi and Chris Williamson shoot like a workout together. But in this workout, they were basically like also talking and doing a podcast. And I thought, oh, that'd be dope to dope to shoot. And so as I get here to the retreat, the, one of the first guys I meet is a videographer. And he's actually the videographer for this actual place that I'm at. And these guys have, by this point, probably millions of followers by the time this video is out because they're growing at 100,000 a day right now. And he tells me, yeah, I do the videography, I do the content. And as of today, we're actually offering video to customers. And I'm like, oh, great. We want to shoot this video. So like all worked out perfectly and we shot this video this morning we're having this like really tough workout but we're also talking business and we're also talking just life and, and and stuff like that you know after we hit that workout 
Hamza goes to me, hey, do you want to go on a 20 minute run together? I'm like, oh, not really. I haven't run in over a year, but sure, let's go and do it. We then go on this run. We run for four kilometers downhill and then we get to the bottom of like through the jungle and the roads. I try and overlay some B-roll and then we realize, oh, we have to get back up. And by this time, we were already exhausted because we just did the breath work. We just did the workout. We just run and we're in like the 30 30 plus degree heat. But we made it back up. We stopped by at a waterfall on the way up and then had some just amazing organic food cooked for us, right? And here's the thing. It's something I learned from... One of the things I learned from Hamza this weekend so far is just the amount of like dedication and work that actually goes into it. I'll give you guys a quick story. I decided recently that I want to go all in on YouTube and I want to start really pouring my heart and soul into YouTube and just really focusing on it. So I had a meeting with my team and I messaged my editor and I was like, do you think that we can do two videos a week? And I was like, it's going to be really pushing it, but do you think we can? And he's like, yeah, I think we can do it. And I'm like, all right, cool. We're going all in boys, creating a plan. And And then Hamza messages me. The, like a couple of days ago and he's yeah I'm just here in this location and I'm just producing 10 YouTube videos a day exactly in this spot this is where he's been making them 10 a day so look at the standard difference right so that in a week that's 80 a week and my big shift was going from one to two right and so this is the second takeaway I want to give you from since being up here up in the mountains with all these other cool entrepreneurs which is like when you surround yourself with guys who are just at such a different level to you in a specific area, it just forces you to have a different perspective shift. It forces you to level up because I thought my one to two was such a big thing. But in reality, it's, you know, you then look at what he's doing. He's banging out 80 in a single week, right? So there's levels to it. And just how you know he was able to help me with business stuff, I can help with different angles around business, life, mindset, spirituality as well. We all help each other out. At the end of our workout today, Hamza said to me how he just really respected and appreciated how I could just lead these guys through this breath work this morning. He thought it was really cool, stepping up to lead the guys through it. But the funny thing is, is like not even a year ago, I would have been mortified to not only lead someone through it, but let alone a group of very masculine men who are probably more closed off to that stuff. But it felt completely normal to me, right? And so the reason I'm sharing that with you is that the things that are scaring you right now and that seem outside of your comfort zone, realize that they don't actually have to necessarily be that many steps away. It only took me a a couple of steps to get here to where I am right now. And it's actually the same for you. And so when you're setting your goals, the things that you're moving towards, whether it's building your business, getting in better physical shape, you know, deepening your relationships, having a better connection with God, whatever your goals are specifically, don't look back at your past self when you set those goals to what you think you could achieve because your past self cannot achieve your future goals otherwise you'd already have them so what I mean by that in my example right with me is I wanted to be able to guide men and and help men and I coach a lot of men now but previously I was too scared to do it so I never took took the leap the only so the only thing that actually helped me get there was actually starting to do it which then stretched my comfort zone who I actually am, it changed my identity, the way I view myself, the way others view me, to when it just became eventually normal for me to do it. But it was very uncomfortable at the start, right? So when you're setting your goals, don't set them from your past and current self, set them from your future self. So get really clear on who is it you wanna be, because in this retreat, eating steak every day, training with other cool men, get in to just watch these beautiful sunsets, biohacking, going on, you know, going on runs into waterfalls. This is the stuff that, I dreamed of on my vision board years and years ago. Honestly, some of this stuff I didn't even Im- couldn't even imagine back then. But when I set those goals, I didn't know how I was actually going to achieve it. And you shouldn't either. If anyone tells you like you should set these small goals, I completely disagree with that. Because if you set a small goal, here's the thing. It's even if you hit it, you haven't made that much progress. You haven't actually grown as a person. To me, the whole point of setting big goals, it's not just to hit some revenue markets who you become in the process of that. And one of the human needs, the needs of the soul that we all have is to grow, right? Because if we're not growing, what are we doing? We're dying, right? And so this sense of growth is just, particularly as a man, something that we need because we need to be, like we just have this like innate desire to want to reach our potential. Like if I ask you right now, do you feel like you're at your potential? I can bet the answer is no right? You're, you're probably operating at five, maybe 10% of your potential. And so 
to really take quantum leaps forward, you have to set much bigger goals. And I just did my own goal setting for Q3 and Q4 on a worksheet with my guys. If any of you guys want it, DM me on Instagram and I'll help you to do that. And this is the other, this is the other stuff that I'm teaching with the guys who I'm mentoring, who are mainly agency owners, coaches, helping them scale their business. We've had guys scale between, I just got off a call with Arlen, one of the guys I've been working with recently, he just scaled to 30k a month. We're now going to get him to 100k a month in the next three months. You're like, stop being a bitch. Just turn up the ad spend and then come back to me when you're, when you're going to do 30k. Um, I literally went there, I turned it up, I doubled the ad spend up, then appointments came in and then like two, three weeks, like by the end of the month we did 30k and then I came back to you, I was like, yeah, we hit 30k. Giacomo, we got to 70k a month and just goes on and on. So if you do want some help with that, feel free to message me. I'll be able to tell you if you're a good fit and it'll be great to connect with you. But aside from that, stay blessed, stay grateful, peace 